Welcome to another episode of the IIA podcast. Today we have with us Saurabh Mehta, who's the general manager at eBowTech. We would really like you to talk a little bit about your company, uh, as well as the role that you uh, manage um, uh, at your company. eBowTech is one of the leading providers of digital solutions in the insurance ecosystem. So we cater to um, all sorts of customers who, who are in the insurance industry. Uh, we have solutions for them to, to help them uh, do that. Um, just a bit about myself. Um, I manage InsureMo platform, which is our flagship uh, open API middleware platform um, for Southeast Asia, South Asia and Middle East region. There is this larger topic about embedded insurance. So everybody's talking about uh, embedded insurance. So why is everybody talking about embedded insurance? Right. That's a great question. I think people start talking about anything that sells, right? Um, but on a, on a serious note, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great value prop for customers overall, um, for insurance companies, for, for channels, e-commerce companies, um, it's essentially providing, you know, giving them ancillary revenues, revenues is one part, but I think it also adds uh, a massive value to the overall customer experience, it's customer retention, um, so I think these are the key reasons and plus a lot of, uh, you know, funding coming into this market as well. Globally, I think VCs have realized that, you know, this is a growing market growing at probably 32% year on an year expected to be $56 billion market by the end of this year. So of course there is, there's is value there, there's growth there. Um, and a lot has to be still uncovered. I think we are still scratching the surface in embedded insurance. That's why people are talking about it. This is, um, you know, um, very, very exciting times, uh, you know, for, uh, for that particular aspect of insurance, which is really embedded and comes, it's more like cross-sell, uh, but not exactly. I think it's opening up a new um, uh, era of distribution of insurance. So tell me, how does EvoTech's um, you know, solution for creating you know, products help uh, your partners launch embedded insurance um, you know, into their core business proposition? As I said, I was, you know, I'm managing InsureMo platform, which is, which is the open API platform, uh, you know, uh, to distribute any line of business across health, life, general insurance. Uh, we come with 3000 plus ready products, plug and play to the insurance industry, right? So anyone can take our APIs, start selling straight away. Um, but I mean, how, how we differentiate or how we excel is that, you know, overall the depth and breadth we have is, is massive. As I mentioned, uh, you know, we have got uh, we are the, probably the only ones who started with digitizing insurance companies. So uh, that helped us uh, early on, you know, uh, in the first 10 years of our existence to, to develop that, that level of knowledge, the, you know, the depth and breadth, uh, breadth I was talking about into insurance. And that led to creation of InsureMo platform. Uh, so now it has got a, it's got, it's got an amazing library, you know, for anyone to start with. Uh, you can launch products within a matter of hours uh, and APIs are ready for, for you to start distributing. Um, and at this point, we are, we are seeing our platform being adopted by companies that, you know, uh, from all sorts of uh, business lines. The, the other thing which differentiates us from uh, probably other uh, insurtechs um, or, or anyone, you know, who's trying to sell insurance is, is the control that we give uh, to the end uh, customer or, or the client, right? And we have, we have got that feedback you know, from a lot of our existing customers is that our platform is essentially uh, a platform as a service uh, sort of uh, play where customers, you know, be customers can take our platform and, and launch the products very fast. So anyone who is serious about selling insurance as embedded or standalone can adopt our platform and start launching uh, the products very quickly. They can experiment and innovate very fast. Uh, they can create variations of the product very fast. So you can take our platform and, and uh, you know, experiment really fast and, and get to the end uh, product, which is actually selling. So, so, I mean, we sort of become a one-stop shop solution to allow our customers to, to sell embedded insurance. Uh, on other side, we are coming with, you know, a lot of insurance companies globally around 200 plus insurance companies are running on our platforms. So that helps us in, in gaining, uh, you know, that momentum and that speed with the non-insurance partners we, we have, which who are the channels and, you know, printing companies and, and e-commerce. So, so that's where I think uh, we help them in, in launching these products faster and, and get to the end customer experience really quickly. So uh, that's, that's quite, uh, you know, quite, um, I should say, uh, in depth, the way you've kind of created your solution for the market. Uh, let me probe you a little bit more here. So 
InsureMo as a middleware platform. Uh, so how do you think it's really helping the value chain? And let's focus on, uh, you know, the three, um, you know, components of the value chain, customers, distributors, and insurers. So would you like to share some, uh, you know, information around that? Yeah, sure. So I think there, there are two, two parts to it. One, uh, the actual tech solution, right? As I mentioned earlier, the, our, our key focus is, is the three Vs. When I say three V, uh, it basically stands for variation, velocity, and volume, right? So our platform is scalable in a sense that currently we are doing 90 million policies per day on InsureMo and clocking around $20 billion on InsureMo and, and related ecosystems that are built on InsureMo platform, right? So that obviously uh, these ecosystems that are built on InsureMo as a platform uh, is capable to, is allowing companies on, on all sorts of uh, you know, uh, business lines, including insurance companies, channels, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and we have created this connectivity, right? That connectivity is very important. For example, in Thailand, we have got a SaaS application, which is running on InsureMo platform, and it has got, you know, 20 odd insurers on one side of uh, the application. And we have got around, uh, you know, 150 brokers on the other side of the application, and we have created a connectivity using InsureMo platform. So I think that's, where we are enabling the entire ecosystem to get connected and just to experiment and innovate faster, right? So that's one. So connectivity is, I think, a major portion. Second, uh, apart from you know having insurers and 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 channels uh, as as our customers, we also have 500 plus partners that augment the entire insurance uh, journey. So these these are you know partners ranging from chatbots companies, uh, low code no code partners for for creating quick you know, platforms, web views, POSPI portals. Um, then we have got AI ML partners who are integrated into, into InsureMo platform to provide, you know, better underwriting pricing and, and, and you know, also helping on the claim side uh, to the insurers. Then we have got, you know, blockchain partners who are, you're obviously, you know, they have built their solutions on InsureMo. So all these ancillary solutions uh, are also helping the entire ecosystem to take better decisions. And again, I think all of this boils down to everyone is trying to catch the same customer, right? The point is, are you well equipped to do that? And our objective is, is, is to essentially enable uh, everyone in the ecosystem to do that better. And, and, and to be honest, we are not really competing with other insurtechs. Uh, in reality, we are actually powering a lot of insurtechs who are very innovative in nature to create their solutions on our platform. For example, 88i is one of the insurtechs in Brazil. And, and, and you know they have launched their entire uh, insurance program on InsureMo platform. Uh, which, which essentially, you know, starting with warranties and then they will go into blockchain and, and telematics and all of that. Uh, so, so this is how we are, we are sort of enabling the entire ecosystem. We, we sort of consider us as the backbone or more like a AWS of, uh, insurance industry, where we want to play the role of powering the ecosystem in developing innovative solution faster on our platform. That's excellent. I think, uh, the way InsureMo is um, acting itself out as a comprehensive provider and integrator of uh, different digital services within the um, ecosystem and enabling, uh, you know, more business turnover, uh, you know, uh, which really brings me to the last question, uh, sort of, um, what role do you think uh, the India InsureTech Association, which is IIA, should play in the future of the Indian InsureTech industry? We already have a lot of lot of experience in, in working with with IA and, and thankfully you know we joined hands and we were able to create some magic uh, in the last one year um, so we are we are uh, honestly talking to a lot of IA partners currently uh, working with them uh, in a way to to create joint solution as I said earlier right so you know a very innovative motor inspection solution which which we can jointly take to the market so all of these conversations are, are going on and they're very interesting uh, and I think IA is doing a great great job in in, in getting um, you know, all these, uh, you know, startups who are, who are not, I mean, they are very creative in the nature that all of them are not trying to just, I think building very good innovative solutions that are very focused on one part of, you know, insurance, uh, uh journey. I mean, you guys are becoming one-stop shop solution to, to find innovative solutions. That's, that should be the objective, I guess. And, and, and you are, you are, you're in that direction. Thank you, Saurav. Uh, and uh, really, that brings us to the end of today's uh, discussion. Uh, we will see more discussion opportunities in the future. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.